got them lads that robbed Lydia yet. Right now we haven't got much to go on. So what you're saying is you can't do out to help us. Yeah, pathetic. We're doing our best. This is why we don't trust the police. Your best. I know you, Dingles. Don't think that gives you the excuse to try and get revenge yourself. It'd only make things worse and you could end up in trouble. Well, we wouldn't need to if you did your job and nicked him. Either way, I'm not having my wife frightened to go out. I'm fine now. In fact, I'd like to just forget the whole thing. That might be for the best. No way! You're, not, you're supposed to be keeping streets safe. If you can't do out for us, I don't know why you've bothered to come round. I'm actually here on another matter. What now? It's about the fraud investigation. <laughs> this is getting worse. First you tell us you can't protect her, now you're going to start on about a crime she's got nothing to do with. Yeah. We know that. What do you mean? I came to tell you. We've finished examining your laptop. There's evidence you were hacked from outside the UK and your online identity was stolen, which proves you weren't behind that scam. From outside the UK? Hmm. And I'm in the clear? You are. I'm glad to be bringing you some good news for a change. Yes, David. Right, pal, how are you doing? Shall I? Oi, I'm just the lads I was looking for. What's your problem? You two threatened me stepmom yesterday. Yeah, and she deserved it. Should have been locked up by She's now. She's scamming out of a lot of money. Same as the rest of your family, though. Robin, scum, the lot of you. And your dad's an ex-con. Leave my dad out of this. Lydia's done no wrong. She had her identity stolen online. Don't believe a word of it. She crook. All you dingles are. You calling us liars? 